Hey guys, it's your friend Gardner. Uh, today I wanted to do sort of a shorter video just to show you guys how to get uh, set up with Proton on Steam. Uh, Proton, if you're not familiar, is actually a really awesome way to play your Windows games on Linux. It's not 100% foolproof, uh, and there's an awesome website called ProtonDB.com that will help you uh, sort out if your game's going to work or not. Uh, now, you're going to see here that there are a couple of Windows games already showing up in my library, Doom 64, Doom Eternal, and so on, and that's because uh, these games have already been installed. I, I have deliberately reversed all the stuff that I need to do to actually show my Windows games in my Steam library. Um, except for the ones that are in, already installed. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do in order to get our games set up is we're gonna click on Steam, and then we're gonna go to Settings here. Then we're gonna wanna go to Steam Play right here, and we're gonna want to enable Steam Play for all titles. And here we're actually going to select 5.0-10, uh, because honestly, 5.13-2 has had some regressions and this is a custom uh, Proton that I actually installed so I could play Spelunky 2. Uh, so uh, I will pick uh, Proton 5.0-10 as that's the most compatible. Uh, so once you've selected Enable Steam Play for all titles and chosen the, the, uh, the version that you want to run uh, by default, click OK. It's going to prompt you to restart Steam, and we can go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now that Steam is back, you'll be able to see that we actually have uh, more games in our library. So now what we want to do is actually find a Windows game that we want to try and play. So how about Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed? That's a good game, and it shouldn't take too long to install. All right, and there we go. We have Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed installed. Let's uh, go ahead and try that, shall we? This is my favorite part of running Windows games, uh, having to install the DirectX stuff. <laughs> All the prerequisites. On Linux, you never have to deal with that unless you're doing uh, Proton. And yeah, so we're playing uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, and it does not have a Linux client. Uh, just to show that it actually works, we'll go ahead and uh, load the game. And we're playing at 2K resolution. Um, I don't remember what the controls are. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Right trigger. All right, well, there you go, guys. There's uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. So you can play most games uh, for Windows on Linux through Proton. And really, there's only two problems that you might face if, uh, if the game uses weird dependencies or if it has something like Easy Anti-Cheat, uh, which is typically for a multiplayer game. Uh, but even then, games that have uh, Anti-Cheat, like uh, Halo the Master Chief Collection, work great on Linux. Um, even uh, online play, you can just disable the Anti-Cheat in uh, Halo. But what if you have a Linux game and you want to install the Windows version of that game instead? Well, the way to do that is pretty simple, too. So let's try and install the Windows version of Sports Friends. So let's right click on it in our library and click Properties. And then uh, you can see here uh, there's an option that says Force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Now if we check that box, it should populate with uh, uh, the Proton versions that we have available on our system. And you can see Steam Linux Runtime is an option. Uh, Steam Linux Runtime means download the Linux client of the game. But if you were to choose any of these other versions of Proton, you would actually be uh, telling Steam to download the uh, the Windows binaries, uh, update the game so that it's the Windows version of the game. So if we click close, you can see now Sports Friends update is queued. Now I picked Sports Friends for a few reasons. It's, it's a small game, but it also uh, is missing features in the Windows version that it has on Linux. Uh, and once we have this downloaded, we'll be able to launch the game and see that uh, we have indeed begun, uh, launched the Windows version of the game. See, it says this game will launch with Steam Play, uh, which means that uh, it's using uh, Proton as a compatibility layer, and that means this is the Windows version of the game. So let's hit continue here. And you can see here that we're actually installing uh, DirectX inside the Proton container for this game. And it sure does take a while, doesn't it? Okay. And here we are, that we have the Windows version of the game launched, uh, since Johann Sebastian Joust can't actually be played on Windows. Okay, that's cool, but how do you select 
uh, the version of Proton your game runs with. This is useful if you go on ProtonDB and it says, oh hey, by the way, uh, this game works best with version 3.16 of Proton or whatever. And you know, we've already kind of hit on this. If, if you right click on the game in your library and click properties, and then uh, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Now you can see when we click the button, it actually uh, specifies the default that we chose earlier in the Steam settings. Uh, so here we can actually scroll down and pick a different version of Proton uh, that we want to play with. Now, now once we click the thing and hit save, it's actually going to Steam will actually download that version of Proton and have it separately from the rest of the uh, Proton installations. That's cool. But we don't need to do that with Among Us. It works pretty well. But let's go to ProtonDB and let's just see if we can find a game that needs uh, a specific version of Proton. So you can see that the game uh, has somewhat of a negative rating. This is No Man's Sky. Uh, and you can see that uh, we're using... And you can see that this guy left a review using a uh, custom version of Proton 5.9 GE by Glorious Eggroll. If you click on that, uh, it will take you to that version of Proton where you can actually download it. If you go down here and click tar.gz, then you can just go ahead and open it. It's fine. Now, some versions of Proton are actually larger than others. This one is 300 megabytes. I've seen them as large as a gigabyte. Um, but once you have it downloaded, installing it is actually relatively straightforward. All right, so now that we have that version of Proton downloaded, let's go ahead and... Um, go to uh, show hidden files. You can also hit control H on your keyboard. Uh, so let's scroll down here and see if we can find dot steam. All right, there it is dot steam. Now we go to steam and uh, compatibility tools dot D. And here you can see the one I already have installed. So if we just extract proton uh, glorious egg roll version into the compatibility tools file or directory, We can close that. Now let's open up Steam again. Now, if you right click and hit properties here, you're actually not going to see Glorious Egg Roll yet. Um, you're going to have to uh, restart Steam in order for that to work. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there's Steam. Now we can find any random game that we want to try uh, this new version of Proton with. Well, let's say just Spiral Reignited Trilogy. Why not? Well, let's force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And you can see here Proton 5.21-GE-1. There we go. And now we're going to launch this game in that version of Proton. Uh, let's see if it works. And there we go. And that's how you install custom Proton builds. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. It really makes a huge difference. Uh, you can also subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that I have coming out here on the channel. Um, if you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show over on Patreon. You can also make a. Uh, you can also make monthly contributions on. Uh, you can also uh, sign up on LibrePay or become a member on YouTube. Uh, but no matter what you do, I appreciate everything. But no matter what you do, I want to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.